So this first one, it goes to uh, Maeve Henry. And I wonder if Maeve Henry would like to approach. Would you like to approach? <laughs> Whatever it is. So please, would you like to come over here? Okay. Um, well, first of all, I, perhaps I should apologise because you'll actually be seeing me later again. <laughs> um, but this, this poem, which is called um, Someone Else, uh, is written from the point of view of a, of a mother whose um, child has disappeared in a particular um, scenario. So I'll read the poem now. Someone else. The quilt still smells of you, but your bedroom walls are pocked with blue tack. Football teams all gone. They say you crossed the border, walked into Syria. You will head home, I tell them. As you used to come back from parties, drunk on girls and spliffs. You will come in, yawning, lifting the lids of my saucepan grabbing a spoon. I will say, your father is worried. Why are you breaking my heart? It's done. It's broken. I was looking the wrong way, like the guards at the airport. They caught you on camera, clear as the scan of my womb. Now someone else is being born, a boy with a gun, screaming obscenities. And the view from your room is just the same. That lilac bush, a blackbird, a washing That reminds us yet again that poetry may truly um, help us to make sense of our lives, those aspects of our lives that are not always clear to us, why someone would go off from a particular background and uh, a normal setting, a normal family situation, and, uh, and become an activist, a jihadist. Thank you very much indeed.